Fun Church. I hope you're all doing well and uh, enjoying as we go through this season of autumn and uh, adjusting to different things that are happening. But we're going to have some consistency today as we continue to look at the love passage in 1 Corinthians 13. And today we're on our last of our love always and it is love always perseveres. Now, I wonder if this is the characteristic, the attribute that describes love in where we see most strongly this idea that love isn't an emotion. It's so much more than that. Uh, it's a choice, a commitment, an act of the will. And I wonder whether persevering conjures that up really well for us. But we must remember, as with all the other attributes we've looked at, that we understand what this means via God's love to us. You know, Jesus doesn't quit or give up on us. You know, even right to the end of his time here on earth, he was loving his disciples. When we read of him washing the disciples' feet, it says this. It was just before the Passover feast. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. He loved them to the last, some versions say there. Now, and I was thinking, we don't persevere or endure, another word for it, for the sake of enduring. We endure, we persevere for what is right. 1 Peter 2 verse 20 says this. But how is it to your credit if you receive a beating for doing wrong and endure it? If you suffer for doing good and you endure it, this is commendable before God. You know, we endure, we persevere because it's the right thing to do. And more than that, because it's how God loves and shows his love for us. When I was preparing for this, it reminded me actually of part of the marriage vows where you say uh, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death us do part, that loving, persevering, enduring until death separates. So as Christians, we're called to love even when it's difficult, even when the circumstances seem hard, and even when it's a bit inconvenient. But having God's love in us, experiencing his love, is what enables us to love in a similar way, to love consistently. You know, love isn't about fair weather relationships. It's not something that's on and then off. In fact, love that perseveres says, I'm committed. Full stop, that's it. I'm committed. I'm committed to love or whatever. No conditions, no get out clause. And I just want to encourage us in all our relationships, in partners, in families, in church, let's be committed to persevere in doing right and loving one another. See you soon for the very last love short thought. Bye.